So you got celebrities up here where most of them have 360 deals trying to pub you to get a 360 deal. Right, and basically what they are, what they get paid for essentially is being influencers. And then they find out they got beat in that. And that's the same thing with these celebrities. Y'all putting them out there, they are basically y'all agents. Mm -hmm. and, and in fact, actually they have negative experience because they got 360 deals themselves. <laughs> It's like entrapment. No, we don't want that. Sit down somewhere and be quiet. Good evening, everyone. Thank you again so much for tuning in. This is the Real Deal Fam Network. I am Andre, and of course, this is my gorgeous wife, Essie. How you doing? <clears throat> I am the boss of the show, but he is the head of the house, and that's just the way it is. That is very true, and thank you all so much again for tuning in. Please go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you had not had the opportunity. Also, hit the thumbs up. Please, if you don't mind, we are on a thousand subscriber campaign, so boop, 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 boop. Push those buttons. That's right. That's right. With that <laughs> being said, let's dive right in because we got a juicy topic. Uh, we like to discuss uh, the voice of celebrity today. Basically, what they are seeing and the things they are seeing are getting misconstrued and kind of messing up the uh, African-American movement and different things like that. Yeah. Can they be trusted to, to speak for African-Americans and for their people? They're getting paid for the highest gig. So who's ever shelling out the money for them to get up there and <laughs> shuck and jive or step and fetch? I don't know who's doing it, but they, if you're not qualified and we didn't elect you, shut up. Well, I think it's like anything. Most of the time, celebrities, they the, the African-American celebrities, they come from pretty humble backgrounds, the majority of them. Uh, most of them are not second or third generation entertainers or things of that nature. Uh, they had their talent. They got out there and they did their thing. Oh, so you're they, so nice to them. I'm like, y'all got 360 contracts, okay? Y'all negotiated <laughs> that. We don't want that for ourselves. So if you don't mind, sit down somewhere and be quiet. Right. You're messing up the movement. Right. I'm just giving the people a little backdraft on where they come from. So they come from the struggle, most of them. They've seen it. They've been a part of it. They've witnessed it. They lived it. But they they've been blessed with certain talents and so forth and they've went out there and they they profited off their talents and, and done different things, whether it's entertaining, acting, singing, dancing, what have you. But they've been paid. Now the the I guess the temperature of everything in the the old format of making money has kind of changed. The movie industry changed. Mm. The uh, concerts in terms for musicians, record sales, all that stuff has changed. Yeah, it's just like they just wanted to hurry up and be over so they can get back to work because it's messing up their bag. Right, and so there's a lot of people who've been advocating for African American rights that's been on YouTube, other different. They use other different platforms to put four or five issues. And now that the celebrities have a lot of time on their hand, they're not working like they used to. Some of them have been getting out there and kind of mixing it up and, and trying to speak on issues that for years we hadn't heard from them. They've been kind of mute on certain topics. Well, the first one's Kanye West. You know... Uh, Oh, <laughs> <laughs> y'all be nice. You know, he's got a good heart. You know, he's all emotional stuff, but he ain't qualified to speak for black people. And he need to go get some help for his emotional issues <laughs> at the moment. Okay. You're yes. messing up the movement. You need to sit down somewhere that we don't, we, we don't elect you to speak for us. Oh. Next on the table on the chopping block. T.I. Oh, Lord. <laughs> Why would you tout all this big and badness and then you up there caping for us and uh, talking about we only need a million dollars? Well, that's what that's the problem. A lot of people who have been in this fight for a long time, who've battled, who've got the numbers, who've got the research behind it, who have the statistics, they know exactly uh, pretty much how far we're behind Ooh. economically to other people. But you get celebrities out here, like I say, they, they hadn't been involved at all. So they just come into the business and just start uh, spitting out figures and things like that. And so now it makes our whole mission kind of unorganized and unfocused. I'm, I'm just a regular citizen. I could literally go and find out how what is the reparations amount that Native Americans got? <laughs> the, the Jewish people got... Um, nearly a billion dollars, uh, more than a billion dollars in total, but a, a lot more different kind of reparations in the uh, early 1950s. 
the, with inflation and stuff, that's nearly a thousand dollars per. I mean, you're talking trillions of dollars here after inflation. So you telling us right translated in today's dollars? Yeah. So you telling us that African Americans descendants of slavery only need one million dollars when his butt over there is a multimillionaire? And you telling us what we what? No, you're not qualified. If you don't sit down somewhere, we're gonna stop buying your music. We're gonna stop <laughs> watching your movies, and we ain't gonna support you in nothing else because the white folks don't support you. Well, I don't, I don't think record sales is how they make money anymore anyway. that old, Like I say, that old format has like died I, out. Yeah, he ain't doing no concerts. He ain't got no money. So he's telling you just to accept a million dollars or if that's on the table. And then they're going to jug you down from there. And then you're going to have a 360 deal like how he probably got. Right, and like my wife said, a lot of times these people look at them with the side eye, and they kind of suspect because they've they've been basically paid to be entertainers, and so they go out and they they get speaking fees and certain things. They go on different news outlets, and because they're a celebrity, the news outlets bring them on, and they have them speak on issues that such as politics and and things of that nature. And like we say, they're not versed on that. So how they could be more of a help is get the African Americans in the community people who have devoted their life and time to that and bring them on to the show and have them speak. Uh-huh. And so if you don't know what a 360 deal is, a 360 deal is like a new the new age contract deal so that where the record industry basically owns almost everything that you do. Whether it's your records or whether it's your performance, they get like a giant chunk at everything you do, and it's for your entire life. You can't never get out of the contract. Right. And so a lot of them, being newbies, straight off the stroll, you you you, you want to sign with a big record label deal, you're signing with their attorneys, with their accountants, with their everybody else, and they're like, yeah, go, go, go. You, you got the deal. All the while, you're not making any money. That's how all these... The you know artists go broke because they all have 360 deals and they can never get out of their contract. So you got celebrities up here where most of them have 360 deals trying to pub you to get a 360 deal. Right, and basically what they are, what they get paid for essentially is being influencers. And so whether they 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 talent, they can sing, sing, dance, or play ball, or what have you, but they pay to influence people. So that's why they get such in, uh, large endorsement deals. So when they push a product, you can uh, you look at that particular person, you say, man, they using that, then I I can use it. Maybe I can have the success they have. It. That's the kind of gimmicks they use, and it's the same thing. And that's why they're being promoted on issues that are very uh, right now very sensitive and they need focus, such as reparations and issues that affect our entire community. Yeah, so if I'm the number one draft pick and we're talking about football and um, I'm getting a raw deal, you know, anybody's going to be able to speak out and say, hey, that, you know, but uh, I need a real deal agent to give me a good deal. Right. I don't need the little up and coming agent. I'm I'm <laughs> the, the the number one draft deal. Right. No. So you getting somebody who's experienced, somebody who's negotiated with these various teams. They know the tactics that they use, and they know how to get over on somebody. So you had a lot of players in the past who said, "Well, I can negotiate my own deal. I don't have to give up three or ten percent to an agent." And then they find out they got beat in that. And that's the same thing with these celebrities. Y'all putting them out there. They are basically y'all agent. And they're representing y'all causes and things of that and trying to negotiate contracts for you when they have no experience in that particular arena. Mm -hmm. and, and in fact, actually, they have negative experience because they got 360 deals themselves. <laughs> and a lot of them, you know, like have their own, um, you know, artists that they put in a 360 deal. So it's like in track. Man. No, we don't want that. Sit down somewhere and be quiet. Right. Another one is Killer Mike. Killer Mike all the time was a, he had a special on Netflix where he's pubbing, uh, you know, black folks that, you know. The, the, the special was good, I thought. Yeah, I thought so too. He's telling you to, you know, get back to your rules. The black people need to right. start developing, uh, you know, different products and techniques and, you know, he businesses. Showed, and he, he showed a lot of the, the, uh, 
loop and all the holes that we have in our community in terms of owning businesses. He tried to survive off just going to black businesses and he just couldn't do it. All the things he needed throughout the day, it just wasn't available yeah. in terms of black people. So like in the 40s, that black business was booming and you, and you the, the dollar um, in the 20s and uh, 30s and 40s stayed in the African American community, Black Wall Street, for like three years before it left out of the community. Now it stays for like what? Uh, ten minutes. Ten minutes before <laughs> it out of the community. Yeah. So he's trying to give you know enlighten you on that. The moment things get rough, he telling you what? Right, and and, and basically he was trying to he. He was saying some stuff that he probably believed in his heart, but right now the climate is different. If it's a different situation, sit down, be right. quiet, if stop you, messing up your neighbor. No, this is no, this ain't the time for that. Right, what? it's the same thing. If you got a family member that done went to prison, they go on to prison. When they come back home, they just can't come in the house, and you you just peek back up, and uh, uh, you need to let them marinate a little while and see where they head at and see where things going. Yeah, so it's you the let same. them run ch your children. Children and all that kind of stuff. It's the you know? same for celebrities. Right now, they detoxing. They've been in an entertainment industry and they've been around some very shaky individuals. And now they're trying to come back to the community. I think you need to let them sit, marinate a little bit. Then you can get a, a true sense of where they're coming from. So let's just take, for instance, the definition of celebrity. Because mostly, most African Americans right now are going through a spiritual awakening, is this what they is call true. it. Where you are being awakened by the Lord about who you are, your background, uh, what things you need to do and what things you don't need to do and where you might need to go. All, all the, these things are coming to you. A celebrity is, is basically an idol. Okay. It takes your focus off God. An idol, if you didn't know, is like anything that you, you supposed to be looking at to the Lord, but you looking over here, it's glaring. Okay. Uh -huh. Guess who was the number one celebrity in, in heaven? at the time lucifer okay he was <laughs> over the the orchestra the choir everything he was running stuff and then he you know crossed god and god sent him down to earth to get lost and now he's turning these people into celebrities which is taking your focus off god and what you should be enlightening enlightening yourself to a spiritual awakening Right, and you you need to be able to recognize that, recognize people in terms of what what they are operating at. Keep them in where their their specific training, where their specific uh, talents lie. You can't have a individual like Cardi B telling you stuff on lifestyle, on how you should raise your Why kids. Why she's sitting on a toilet? flatulent go, <laughs> telling you about how to raise your children right. why are you listening to ti about how to treat your wife when he's running off with other women and leaving his family uh and what well, ain't destitute but without him without a father for for different stints at a time he's not somebody you should be looking to about how to what you should be doing with your family right and these these are common sense things and so our, our community is gonna have to tighten up with that just because you're a celebrity or you're on tv or you're on youtube it doesn't give you the right to tell people how to do certain things in in terms of uh we gonna well we're gonna vote for these this particular people or we're not gonna vote here or there you need to have a background in that you need to be educated in that you need to be informed yes and then and, and you can contribute to your community. This is cancel culture. It's not cancel just for other folk. If you get in the way of a movement of something that's bigger than you, right. it's canceling you too. Right. And there's individuals out there right now that's been pushing for reparations. They brought it to the forefront. They'll help to get the conversation going. And so celebrities always like to be in the limelight. So they just jump in and add to it. You got P. Diddy. You got Mr. Bob Johnson. You got all these different characters just coming in who really don't have any skin in the game when it comes to that. So mm -hmm. basically what the folk need to do is... Lead the celebrities for what they for. When you want to be entertained, you watch them. Outside of that, no. Now, if they want to contribute to the whole cause, they can do it by simply helping contribute financially or using their influence on politicians and people like that. Yeah. Those are positive things. Those are arenas where they really can excel at. 
or getting panels together of African Americans, uh, descendant of slavery, not just anybody who doesn't have that background, <laughs> and getting polls and different things about what we think. How about helping to educate and enlighten people about their history? You just out here touting that you need to, uh, black people just need a million dollars and need to go somewhere. No, how about you? that's what you need, and you take it, go somewhere else, and get out of our face. Right, but just just make sure you use your celebrity wisely. Use it to help the cause. If you're not informed, it's something that you're not familiar with. Please just try to stay out of that because, like we say, this is a very serious topic. This involves a uh, our entire community of African American descendants of slaves. Yeah. So please don't go out there saying different things and misleading and confusing the message. And the leader of the movement is is the Lord. There's no other way all this exactly. stuff could be going on without Him. Exactly. And so you you better sit down somewhere, and get out the way. Right, and so that's all we just wanted to come to y'all tonight. Just give you a little bit of insight on these celebrities, how they just popping in and adding, jumping on the bandwagon and adding their two cent and, and kind of messing things up. But they can be an asset, they can be a blessing, but they need to slow down, stop, don't stay away from the microphone, and if somebody invites you somewhere, make sure you get somebody there who's familiar with that. If you're going on a show and they're asking you things about the Bible and things like that, you might want to get a minister who can help translate oh, that they for are you. There. That's right. a whole different you topic. You don't want to be giving street Bible lessons on TV. As, you know, you, that's kind of reckless. So that's the same thing you're doing when you're getting in front of politicians and you saying stuff that you're not really versed at. And the problem is you're able to lead people and you not trying to educate yourself on these issues, that's a problem. Yeah, so, but we, we support everybody out there. We just want you to get your mind nah, right, I'm get your heart culture. right. You ain't right, it's counsel. <laughs> they going to get right, because if, if, if we get this check, we, uh, it's going to be a, a big, big mess. I tell you. It's win. Oh, yeah, it's coming. We're going to get that check. So uh, support reparations for African-American descendants of slaves. Make sure this agenda moves forward. It's not something that we're trying to put together that excludes others. It's that it's specific for us, for things that we've done, been, that we've been through as a people and had to experience and endure. That's what it's for. It's for to get our people back the way they supposed Let to be. people go. And we thank y'all again so much for tuning in. My wife got to add that in there. <laughs> but thank y'all so much. Please hit that subscribe button if you hadn't had the opportunity yet subscribe. to subscribe. This is a great channel with a lot of information. Just like my wife always say, it's conversations, real people talking real issues, not fantasy, not fake. This is stuff people talk about at their house, at the barbershop, as my wife likes to say, at the beauty shop. <laughs> so, <laughs> you come here and you're going to get some great conversation. And please leave a comment below and let us know how you feel about everything. And we're highly, highly appreciated. And y'all have a blessed and good evening. Good night. Good night.